to meet now. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the role that grassroots organizations play in the mayor's crime prevention strategy. Some leaders question if directing funding to those groups will actually make a difference. I team H Richard Essex has the story for us. The mayor's proposal to fund grassroots crime prevention groups is nothing new. The city's been doing this for decades. But now there is a shift from crime intervention to crime prevention. Mayor Joe Hogsett told me recently that he hoped to see some results from what he calls the largest crime prevention investment in the city's history by next year. Part of the investment the mayor is making is $45 million to grassroots organizations. The city rejected the latest grant application submitted by the Ten Point Coalition. The neighborhoods that Ten Point patrols on a regular basis have some of the lowest crime rates in the city. Instead, the city is modeling their grassroots program after a peacemakers program in Oakland, California. I team A talked to the Fraternal Order of Police President Rick Snyder right after the mayor made his crime prevention announcement. Most Indianapolis has uh, publicly said they're following the Oakland model uh, for intervention and de-escalation and policing. Go look at Oakland. It's a city in disaster. Why would we say we're following that model? I can tell you the city that has the model to follow. It's Indianapolis in the late 1990s during the weed and seed program. James Wilson is a longtime community activist and CEO of Circle Up Indy. His work involves food pantries, housing issues, and of course crime. He's a passionate advocate for mental health issues. He says the economic trauma is a leading cause of violence in the city. His organization is not funded by the city or the mayor's office, though they have applied for crime prevention grants in the past. Wilson says the adoption of the Peacemakers platform is not the right direction for the city. No, you're not, and I'm going to be honest with you. They're taking on a challenge they don't understand. And Wilson takes it one step further. He says the crime problem is not isolated to the city. He says that this is a statewide problem and is going to require the intervention of the governor and the General Assembly. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.